Right, this is one we're headed for. Wireless streamer loves his hidden systems. So don't use the glyphs because you can't get here. You have to be invited. Let's get down and land on this place. I don't, there, there isn't a landing pad. Uh, I'll just try and avoid the buildings. I don't want to go complete nutcase. Um, whoop, mind that building. Right, let's land. Find a spot to land on. It's right next to a portal there, so that's handy. Um, it is night time, so we're going to have to wait for daylight here. We'll see in a bit. Okay, daylight has a <laughs> Um It's a bloody beautiful place, this. And the view is, <laughs> imagine those two planets. <laughs> I mean, they'd crush you, wouldn't they? So we got, um, there's no sentinels. Uh, the weather's blissful, as you can read. And I haven't had a storm. I've been sat here all night because I noticed the power is off. And I was hoping it was just a redraw problem. But sat there all night and all the next day. And I've just got popped out of shit now. So I'm two days I've been here and the power hasn't come back on. So here is the base computer. Let me just grab the coordinates a second. So there you are. Fire and Shrine by Wireless Dreamer. Again, like I say, this is a, another hidden system. He loads these. I'm not sure that he's just an anti-social bugger or what. But then it saves his builds being broken. Right, so we're on one. We'll have a look at the uh, tunnel first. Oh, I'm stuck. As you can see, it's built on a very tiny um, two base settlement thing. You know, the, not a lot in them, but there you go. The animals are quite abundant here as well. Uh, as you can see, the birds, they can sometimes be annoying and hit me. I'll just uh, run around this uh, whippy. Um, so there's the scan of the sky. <laughs> Those planets are actually dominating it. But it's a lovely view. Okay, so we're down to the stairs. Uh, there's the small gap. Um, I don't know whether uh, users see a different thing. Oh, I just missed the damn stairs. I don't do that. That's because I'm first person and I'm not bloody good at first person. Get up there. Right, get up the stairs. You see, there's a, one of the pillars here. Uh, there are four here. Let me just get upstairs on top. Like so. I can't see, the, there's the light bulb. Autonomous mining unit. So the top has got the uh, little light on. So they're all the same. I can see that the little lights running on the others. So there's four towers. It actually looks like um, an animal led on its back with the legs in the air <laughs> with no head. So it's got a neck with the entrance. <laughs> it just looks like, it just, just reminded me of an animal laying dead on the floor, upside down. Right, let's get back into the uh, tube. Here's the tube. As you can see, it's made of curved windows. The stuff you find on the curved um, main module building, the round one. You can fit a round window on there, and it's, that's what they are. <laughs> it's very well done. Oh, I just see the rainbow in the distance there. So that is taking a long that would take me forever to get that up there I would throw the computer across the room I get so annoyed with it where are we going here down the bloody passageway so that's the glass tunnel surrounded by the four legs of it <laughs> so there's that uh, I think we'll um should we go in the we go up there first I think so I need to be up on top so I can jump I don't think there's any doors going in there so we have to uh, do that let me just get my legs onto something hope my power lasts
Okay, my legs are touched. So we're just on a glass. They're just glass domes with the plants in them. But they're it's quite a striking effect, really. Uh, except for the uh, those purple things. Um, some are, like I say, I never use anything, so I don't know. Let's get on the other one, see if we can see what's holding it all up. Which is uh, electromagnetic generator upside down. There's probably a signal booster on there as well. That looks like um, gas or mineral extractor. There's the depot to store it in. And uh, I'm not sure there's another one up there. It's got those legs, so it could be another mineral or gas extractor. I mean, it's not connected to anything, it's not, it doesn't actually draw any power. So we have four of those. As you can see, there's no power connected to it. It's just, um, can we land on here? Let's see. Electromagnetic. It, it is generating 25, but there's nothing connected. There's no batteries, so it's just generating. It's near one, so I mean, you could have powered it straight from there, actually, couldn't you? Let's get back over to the top of the bridge. I can make it. Okay, whew, I nearly walked off. I'm going to go on that one next, I think. Um, there's more electric generators over there. As you can see, it's a nice, peaceful place. This, if you look at the thing, it's got um, blissful, intermittent, copious, abundant, and absent. Just the place you want to be. Uh, we'll move on to that one, I think, next. Let's get over onto this. Well, if I missed, <laughs> as usual. <sighs> right. Ready? Go. Uh, we'll find somewhere solid to land, because sometimes you can vanish straight through that holodeck thing, that hologram thing. Oh, I could have read the electrics from here, couldn't I? Look, <laughs> it's 56 here, so this one's closer. I don't think this one's connected either. I'll just check again. No, they're not connected. So let's get inside if we can manage that. Um, <laughs> help. I'll walk backwards and hopefully I'll uh, uh, fly. <laughs> okay, we're in. Um, that's a bunch of signal boosters. You can tell by the orange light, basically. So, loads of those all around the outside of the holographic circle. I like the floor. I don't think that's normal, but it must be the top of whatever it's built on. I don't know, really. Is it floors? It's just uh, perhaps it's just a circle made into a circle floor. And then the holographic projector is put on top. So I guess that's about right. So um, I've got to find the way out again. There's the bridge. We we'll go for the uh, next section here. Okay. Now oh, what happened there? We fell through the room, through the floor, floor. Let's have a look. I just um, changed back up the third. Ah, look, <laughs> it makes it look like water. <laughs> uh, we've still got the same effect on the surrounding area, but I guess that's okay. Um, but yeah, it's either a water or it's a mud bath. Although I'm running fairly fast, so I don't think it is. Let's get up there, let's change that back. Oh, wrong one. Change that back. Right, let's change back. Now then, uh, if we go round, we've got some grasses in the water. That's, keep, you know, keep it aerated. As you can see, the power is off. Um, there's the usual upside down 
uh, base terminus. Damn it, let's power off. Can't go anywhere. And I know it goes into the outer ring up there. Which is about the best place to see that middle piece. Let's go indoors here a second. That's a race initiator pattern, isn't it? Okay, so as you can see, he's more of an architect than an internal designer. <laughs> he likes the building and not what's in them. Fair play. If you don't, if you don't want to do something, don't have to. That's what the game's about. Free will. The crisscrossing of all that roundness. <laughs> that is. Oh God, I I don't know where to start with that. I wouldn't know where to start. I wouldn't. Um. How does it know? I mean, where do you start? At the top or the bottom? I don't know. You just start on one level and work your way up. <laughs> and then fill in between? I have no idea. Can we get in there? We'll try. Okay, so we're in the, the... Where it changes over again. And goes back out again. Just for the platform, I think. It's not... I don't think it's supposed to be up here, but it's just a shape. It's turned into a funnel. But that's okay. That looks pretty neat to me. I mean, I, you can't really say that's out of line. It's well lined up. We get down again. Um, the teleport being out's bit bit buggered me up a bit. Blew me up. No power. I can't go into the outer ring upstairs. Um, but if you look at the spires that's holding it up as well, the towers. So we got this, it goes up and it curves up again. It's kind of like cradling the upper layer. So we're going to have to get up there. Is, it, is there a quicker way for me to get up there? This rock. We use the rock, okay? Okay, we made it. <laughs> that was worrying. So there is the outer ring of upstairs. As you can see, the teleporter's there. The SRT. The short range one. But there's no way we can get to it. And as you can see, it's made of the same windows as the round room again. I, I'm a bit worried about why there's no power. There was power here when I came to look at the place, but no power since, well, when I came back to film it. So here is the central piece, the central art design, with the backdrop of the, the planet behind it. It's gone dark. We're on night time. We've only got this bit to go, so we'll leave that one. Right, so there is as you can see we're bumping up and down as we go it's made up of those candelabra things and what appears to be like rings in the middle there loops and millions of these triangles well I say millions of course they don't actually mean millions but quite a bloody lot uh, there's the darkened thingies there is the last room over there um, it's another piece of art. You can't actually get in. We'll go over there in a minute. We'll go, we'll, we'll go over and have a look. Let me just check my lights on because I'm not sure whether it is. Apparently it is. Right, so we're going to go over there. It's above my damn ship. That's <laughs> a bit unfortunate. Right, get over, get down. Right, we're landing. Feet's touched. See, so there's no way in it. It's just a, a, a. It looks like it's made of those um, circular platform things. The foundations, the circular. I, I mean, I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like. With bits of glass. So there's a glass dome in there. That, perhaps that's a dome. I don't know. It seems a bit. Uh, the framework for the window barrier. Barrier? Area. As you can see, 
Um, the antenna has got a signal booster in it. It's actually a dish, so that would be the other thing. What's that thing with the dish? Summoning craft one, is it? I don't know. Probably. And there's another piece of art on the top of that. We've got to get our way anyway, so we're headed back. hope my power can last. Not my power, my jets. There you can see the curvature there as it comes out the top end of the spines. All cubes and made smaller and smaller. That is excellent. I don't think I can even see a difference between there. With a triangle one on top. Hmm. That is very well done. I cannot see any kind of imperfection. So here's the last piece of art. The last piece of art. It uses a lot of signal boosters. And that is covered. Show you about the electric. But damn things happen. So I don't know whether something's changed. But it was working and I was running around that circle of glass up there. But not anymore. Anyway, we've done. We've seen. We've come. We saw. We're off.